Hi. So in this question, we have to find out the slope of a velocity time graph and find out whether it gives the distance, the displacement, the acceleration or the speed. So uh, let's start. So uh, we are having a velocity time graph. So this is x axis is time in let's say seconds and velocity in meters per second. Okay, so slope of velocity time graph. Okay, now what is slope of velocity time graph? So first of all, we'll have to have a slope, uh, a, a graph. So let's say this is the graph. Okay, so this represents a, a velocity time graph and we have to find out what does the slope depict. Now let's take two points on this graph. Let's say this is point A. Let's say this is point A and this is point B. How do I find out the slope? You have to first drop the perpendicular to the time axis and then to the velocity axis. Okay, now complete this right angled triangle. Okay, let's let's call this point as C. Okay. Now slope is let's say okay, first of all, let's say this is T2, this was T1, this is V2, and this is V1. That is this point. This point is V1, this point is V2, this point is T1, and this point is T2. Now, how 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 do we define the slope? Slope is given by Slope is given by this distance divided by this distance or this length divided by this length. Now this is nothing but change in V from V2 to V1 to V2. So delta V we can say this is V2 minus V1 and this is delta T and this is equal to T2 minus T1. So slope of slope of VT graph is nothing but delta V upon delta T. Okay, so why is this called slope? Because it's like, okay, let's say you are ascending a hill, ascending a hill, and how to define the steepness of this hill? So you will say that if I get displaced by let's say x meters in the horizontal direction. This leads to a displacement of y meters in y meters in vertical direction. So my slope, slope or inclination of this hill was nothing but y upon x. So for every meter moved in x direction, how much do I rise up in y direction? Let's say, how do I know whether it is steep or not so let's say if there is a steeper hill so let's say this is the hill and you are ascending this hill now again so let's let's say this distance is y dash so what's the slope in the second case let's say this was case one or a and this is case b so this was the case a now in case b the slope will be slope will be y dash upon x right for x meters moved in x, x direction or horizontal direction you rise up by y dash meters so hence slope of slope in case of b is greater than slope in case of a or inclination in case of b is greater than inclination in, in case of a so clearly y dash by x is greater than y by x why because y dash is greater than y right so this is how the slope is measured. So in this case also, if I if I'm measuring the slope of this line, so I have to find out uh, if I move horizontally horizontally by delta t, how much delta v change do I get in vertical direction? So hence slope is delta v by delta t. Now by definition, by definition, by definition, acceleration, acceleration is given by delta v by delta t or this is nothing but rate of change of 
velocity with respect to time. So this is rate of change of velocity and that's acceleration. So if you see delta v by delta t is acceleration is acceleration. So hence the slope here in a velocity time graph will give me acceleration right. So this is nothing but acceleration right. So slope in a velocity time will give you acceleration right. Now if it was let's say think about this question what will the slope of a distance time graph give you. So let's say distance or displacement time graph right. So this, this is displacement s and this is time. So again there is a displacement time graph. So slope of displacement time graph will give you what? This is a question to ponder. Think about it. The, the solution or the answer is one of them, one of these four options. So the for the for this question, slope of a velocity time graph, the answer is acceleration. For this question, the slope of the slope of displacement time graph, find out, or distance time graph, find out the answer. The answer is one of these four. Thank you.